If you're a feed wheat grower, there are three key varieties that you'll be considering for sowing this coming autumn. They are group two variety, KWS X days, hard group four variety, Champion, and another hard group four variety, KWS Dorsum. The chances are you'll already have one or more of those varieties in the ground for Harvest 2023. So we thought we'd do a deep dive this year, looking at how these three key varieties compare to each other and how they can best be matched in your rotations. What is it then about these three varieties that makes them so important for growers? Well, yield is obviously still a key consideration and all three of these varieties have yield in spades with the two group four varieties that you can see here, Dorsum and Champion, slightly ahead of X days for yield potential. But yield on its own is not enough. And the other thing that all three of these varieties bring to the party is very good disease resistance. And that robustness in the field has become a key consideration for growers up and down the UK. Let's turn to look then at agronomics and disease resistance. You can see that all three varieties have a good level of resistance to our key cereal diseases of yellow rust and septoria triticae. Dorsum in particular appears to have a bomb proof resistance to yellow rust, which it's inherited from its parent variety Costello. Looking at septoria triticae, it's Extase and Champion that stand out, with the resistance score for Champion in particular a highlight amongst all of the recommended list varieties. All three of these varieties then show no particular weakness to any of our main wheat diseases. They appear to be robust all-rounders and that's particularly important as we look at larger farms and those with more tricky areas of land to access with the sprayer. These will stand up under disease performance and in a catchy season where perhaps we miss spray timings, these are the crops that you could perhaps leave a little later whilst focusing on maybe a milling wheat that needs a little more care and attention. Let's turn to look then at where these varieties fit in your rotations and how they might complement each other on farm. If we look at the rotational positions, all of them are good choices as a first cereal. It's that second or continuous cereal position that has been harder to find varieties for in recent years. And looking at these varieties, we do start to tease apart some differences between Dorsum, Champion and Ixtays. Champion would be our top pick as a second wheat variety. It's got all of the features that we want in a second wheat in terms of vigour and swift establishment, good disease resistance, and an early harvest maturity, compensating for what is often a slightly later drilling date. Extase has long been considered a similar variety in that regard, although we should be aware of a weaker eye spot resistance in Extase. Eye spot is predominant in second and continuous cereals, and we have seen instances of eye spot lodging with Extase in recent years. So overall then, we would probably put Champion and Dorsum ahead of Extase as our second wheat options. Drilling date is another area of difference between these three varieties. If you're looking for an early drilling variety, perhaps in the second or third week of September, then Dorsum is going to be the most suitable for that position. Both Extase and Champion are much more vigorous varieties, better suited to a later drilling window with Champion in particular not suited for early drilling due to a slightly weaker straw strength that may lead to lodging if drilled too early. You can see on screen now where we would place these varieties in their ideal situations. Starting with Dorsum as the early driller and into the main drilling window, then perhaps moving on to Extase for the main and late, with Champion the latest sowing potential. Dorsum in particular offers the widest sowing window and we would class this as a flexible driller, meaning you can start with your ideal drilling date in mind, but if weather and conditions don't allow that to take place, you can be confident that Dorsum drilled later, perhaps in November or December, will still cope well from that later drilling date. The final area to consider for these three is the soil. 
and that's both the soil type, but also the cultivation and drilling method. On lighter and more drought prone soils, we would be looking at KWS dorsum and KWS extase. And the main reason for that is specific weight. Both have a very bold grain producing a high bushel. And that's in contrast to Champion, which does have a slightly lower specific weight. That can be a challenge in droughted situations, and so best to steer clear of Champion in those really light land situations. By contrast, when we look at the heaviest land, that actually is where Champion excels. Be aware though, that in particular fertile situations, we will need to keep on top of Champion when it comes to PGRs, just to look after that slightly weaker straw. And then when it comes to cultivation method and means of drilling, we have found that all three of these varieties cope well in a direct drilling or a min-till situation. Vigor is important in those situations to get plants up and out in what is often a more difficult start for the seedling. And they're also all high tillering varieties where we do often see compromised tillering in a direct drilling situation. Another consideration for direct drilling or min-till systems is the level of disease that may be carried over from trash on the soil surface. That again recommends all three of these varieties with, as we have seen, strong disease resistance. The final area for us to be aware of when considering these varieties is orange wheat blossom midge resistance. Champion is the only variety to carry genetic resistance to that pest, which means that if you're trying to avoid the use of insecticides, perhaps to tie in with the funding that's available from zero use of insecticides under SFI, then Champion may need to be a larger part of your rotation, perhaps paired with other resistant feed varieties such as SY Insita or Glean. If you are still using insecticides to keep on top of midge pressure in a difficult year, then just consider your splits of these varieties perhaps placing Champion on some of the further flung and more difficult to access parts of the farm, meaning you can prioritise getting around your dorsum and extase with pyrethroid sprays. Given the strengths of these varieties, it is no surprise that they were our highest selling options for drilling in autumn 2022. And we expect that to be the case again for this coming autumn of 2023. Hopefully, during this video, you've learned a little about how these varieties can complement each other on your farm and where best to place them within your rotations. If you'd like to learn more about matching these varieties in your farm setting or bringing in other varieties alongside them, speak to your Frontier farm trader or agronomist for tailored advice.